Hi guys, in today's video I'm just going to share with you all a product that I absolutely love and that's for a Danish dough hook. You guys probably have seen me using this on my channel. It's great for, for those of you who, are, who don't like to put your hands into flour to knead the flour to bring it together. This is what you would use. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use this because it's my absolute favorite item. Um, it's better than a whisk um, because the whisk, you know, when you mix all of the flour, it tends to clump up in the center. With this, you don't have that issue. So in this set, you're given five razor blades. These are just like any Trini razor blades. And you get a cover. So this is a, a leather cover. And this is to protect it when the razor blade is on the limb so let me just open one of the razor blades and place it onto the limb so you guys can see and all you have to do is take this and place it like this on the tip of the limb. Now this is what you would use when you see bakeries having cuts on their bread. This is what they use to create those cuts. And as I said, we got a leather cover so that we can sew it like this to protect it and so that no one gets cut. So this is really interesting, really easy to use. And if you run out of razor blades, of course you can get razor blades anywhere to purchase. And now let's get started. I want to show you guys how to use this Danish dough hook and you guys should definitely get one for your kitchen. I think it's a must have tool. It's one of my must have tools for the kitchen. So let me show you how to use this. So guys, here I have my flour and my baking powder. I'm going to use my dough hook to mix those ingredients together. So now I'm going to go in with water and if you're using this for the first time you want to be careful don't over put too much water so you're just going to go in a circular motion and the flour starts to come together and I'm going in with some more water and with a circular motion we're going to bring some more dough together so you see you're not even dirtying your hands for this your hands are going to remain very clean I'm just using the scoop and fold. You want to make sure that the water in the dough it's not wet and soggy because you want a nice medium dough. So I'm needing flour for roti today but if you were needing it to make bread then of course you would need your flour a little on the softer side. So guys, now that all of the water that I need is in there, I'm going to clean this dough hook. And now I'm going to go in with my hands and start bringing the dough together. So your hands are not going to get really, really messy, like when you have to knead it from the beginning. So I'm just going to knead and bring this together like so. So guys, here's my dough hook, here's my flour, these are my hands, nice and clean. After I kneaded the flour really well, my hands got really clean. And that's the one thing I like about the dough hook, it takes away from all of that flour sticking and being on your hands and those of you who don't like it, it takes away from that.